Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're updating one of my favorite Zane builds of all time, and that is the Sack Zane build, aka Swiss Army Knife Zane. Now this build is seriously meant to do it all. If you want to wear a Hustler and abuse Eraser and blow up the whole map, you can do that. If you want to use your Digi clone so that you can use that Ammo Regen anointment I've been talking about and beat the Guardian takedown, you can do that. If you want to kill Wotan with a DNA, because it reminds me of back in Mayhem 4 when I used to kill Wotan with a, a Cutsman when I was farming redistributors, you can do that too. If you need a build for Mayhem 69, this is it. Swiss Army Knife Zane. So let's get into the video. Alrighty, Swiss Army Knife Zane. Now this looks like a weird skill tree. You can see I have the Mantis and the Barrier equipped right now, but look, I spent some points into Fractal Frags and Quick Breather. You can see I spent a point into Drone Delivery. And this build is meant, like I said, to do it all. So you can use the gear and the anointments you want to. You guys like using Sentinel Cryo, you need a Sentinel build, you can use this. You wanna use the new barrier as active, 125% uh, crit damage, you can use this. You wanna use the Digiclone, Ammo Regen anointment I've been talking about, this is the build for you. You wanna put on a Hustler, put on a Root, and just do some stupid shit in Borderlands 3. You can do anything on this Zane build. Level 72 gave us so many skill points. There is one thing on Zane that you cannot do, and that is double barrel. I don't have double barrel. Now we still are gonna be using the clone because like I said, this is more of an item focused build, a gear focused build. So for those of you who farm lots and lots in the game and you find random stuff and you just wanna try it on a very strong build, that's what this build is meant to do. It's not necessarily a specialized build, meant for you know very specialized things even though we can dabble in those things and you know i probably showed a clip so far of us doing the eraser hustler thing uh you know what i mean all you need is a racer to really do those broken interactions and yeah so with that i'm sorry it's such a long intro but this like you know i really gotta drill in your heads what this build is for and i'm gonna show you guys basically three different setups using some of the action skills but before all that let's just go over the skill tree um because there are some options for you guys who never plan on using the drone obviously don't put a point into drone delivery now uh with that being said the skill tree i chose right now we are missing cold boar unfortunately i wanted to max out violent violence and playing dirty a bit more because this is a very general build and I want this, uh, these are very good skills for very different weapons and I wanted to put a little more care into there. But if you like using cold boar, like you guys know, we're in the Zane's blue tree, just get to death follows close. Now, if you wanna use the Sentinel, the two augments I actually recommend are Boomsday and Static Field. Uh, a lot of people like to go for bad dose, but I prefer Boomsday because the Sentinel can actually do some decent damage um, because of its mayhem scaling and the Revolter Shield can buff your Sentinel's damage and the sentinel is actually pretty good for getting out of fight for your life it's not bad it's not the best ever but it's 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 it adds a decent chunk of damage um now let's just go ahead and move on that's pretty much all that needs to be said about the blue tree in the red tree we've only spent two points on clone skills fractal frags and quick breather now keep in mind the clone is pure utility in this build he's actually pretty weak without boom enhance like health wise like he'll die often and so we'll have to use a couple tricks to overcome that um, and, uh, yeah, if you actually don't plan on using the clone, uh, that means you don't want to use any of these cool clone anointments. Uh, I want to use these sometimes when I play because it's fun. You know, the clone anointment isn't the best thing ever. If you don't want to use it, then just spend these two points into Donnybrook or Premunitus. It really doesn't matter. And then in the green tree, we spent five points into Ready for Action and five points into Brain Freeze. All you need for the green tree is All Rounder. That is it. So let's just move on. In the purple tree, we just wanted to get to Eraser. Now, uh, the points you're gonna ask me about are Deja Vu and Domino Effect. You notice I didn't take any Domino Effect. Zane has tons of reload speed and fire rate. I went for Deja Vu because this in combination, specifically with the Hellwalker, honestly, but this in combination with Jacob's weapons is very good. Uh, if I one tap an enemy with, a J with this Hellwalker, then I get to keep my next two magazine anointment activated. And same just goes if you like weapons like the Skull Masher or other Jacob snipers. Uh, Deja Vu is a good skill for Jacob's weapons in particular, I would say. Um, and so yeah, if you don't use those, then you can use Domino Effect. But the main thing is to get Eraser and also the two best 
augments for the Mantis, which is Proliferation and No Way Out. These are by far the two best augments. So with the skill tree out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about a couple different setups I used. Now, the first setup I'm gonna show you guys is gonna be a Mantis Barrier setup. You'll notice the Mantis is the thing we use the most in all these setups because it is just the most uh, consistent action skill when it comes to activating your anointments, uh, seeing red, etc., so on, you guys get it. Uh, and this setup we used in the Malawan takedown, I used a free radical, a redistributor, and if you don't have the redistributor, you can use the reflux. Uh, if you have trouble beating the Malawan takedown, go farm a reflux from Genevieve, and that'll help you farm a redistributor. We're gonna be using the OPQ system, and we're gonna be using the DNA. Now, I'm just showcasing these weapons because I like them. Uh, you guys can go ahead and use whatever weapons you like, but these ones are very, very powerful. I'm using them with the Revolter Shield because it's broken. But just so you guys know, the Revolter is not actually necessary for this build. In fact, when we get to the Digiclone Ammo Regen Anointment, which has no damage, we're actually not using a Revolter Shield, which is a whole a lot of more damage lost. And you're gonna see that that works just fine in the Guardian Takedown. So you definitely don't need the Revolter Shield for the Malawan Takedown. Um, and then when it comes to the Grenade, it doesn't matter when we're using the Barrier. And besides that, I'm just wearing a Sea and Dead and a Toboggan because I like slide speed. Technically, the Icebreaker is your best mobbing uh, artifact, but I prefer slide speed and just get good bonuses on your class mod and your artifact. Alrighty, for this second setup, we are showcasing using our clone and the Mantis for the Guardian takedown. I'm using the clone as distraction to help us get through the crystal sections. And then I am using the Digiclone ammo regen anointments with the flipper to just help like crowd control with brain freeze and then just clear out enemies because the flipper is super powerful. You will notice that since we're using the Digiclone ammo regen anointment, this isn't a splash anointment, this isn't an X2 magazine anointment, you're like, all of our damage is gone, right? But no, Zane is strong as heck. And with the Digiclone, uh, we are using the Super Soldier Shield for two reasons. Number one, the Digiclone is actually pretty flimsy without Boom Enhance. So the Super Soldier gives him five full seconds when you summon him to throw some Mesmer grenades. And we're using the Mesmer with the Digiclone combo to help crowd control at the Guardian takedown. And uh, yeah, we're just using 50% bonus element on our grenade. We're not using a Revolter Shield, and you can see that the damage is pretty decent. Now, we're still wearing a Sea and Dead class mod, and that's because this is pretty important for the clone survivability. Uh, like I said, the clone's uh, Donnybrook is separate from Zane's Donnybrook. I don't know how many people know this, but he actually stacks his own Donnybrook, so he has to physically get kills to stack his Donnybrook, unless you're wearing a Sea and Dead class mod, and then he stacks his own Sea and Dead stacks, it's super weird, but that is how Borderlands works, so keep that in mind. And for the artifact, I'm wearing an Icebreaker. Now, like I said, since we're not using like a really strong anointment on our gun, we're not using a Revolter Shield, I decided to bring in the Icebreaker because that'll give us a bunch of extra damage, especially if you guys can get a level 72 one. My level 65 Icebreaker gives 45% bonus damage. I don't even know what a 72 gives. I feel like it has to be like upwards of like 60% bonus damage to frozen enemies, and that has to be insane. So I'm gonna be trying to farm up in a level 72 icebreaker for myself. Finally, for this third setup, we're gonna switch back to the Mantis and the Barrier. Now, uh, epilepsy warning or whatever, I'm gonna be using the root here for this Hemovorus kill. Uh, I I'm not gonna cut any of the footage out. Just look away for a second if you don't like bright flashy lights. But you guys can see, we can switch to a Hustler and a root anytime we want to just put on a slidey artifact uh you're really going to be looking for movement speed bonuses now i only farmed up a corrosive root because uh I, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys i didn't feel like looking for the fire one because i just wanted to see if this would work in this build and this is enough of a showcase for me that this absolutely works in this build just put on your favorite hustler put on your favorite root probably wear a super soldier shield you can see i still go into fight for your life uh even with the super soldier on and yeah you can blow the hell out of freaking hemoborus the strongest boss in the game with this build and then you guys see uh since i don't have the fire root uh you notice there's a large damage drop off so i just switched over to a fire back burner 
to finish off his last phase because it was just easier for me. Um, and you guys know, I, I, I didn't even take the Hustler off either. I just kept the Hustler on. So you can see we're getting enough damage out of this build to make it work. And uh, that is pretty much it for this video. As you guys can see, this is one of the most versatile builds in the game. If you find some cool gear combinations, you like some cool anointments you want to try out, go for it. Use some of the tips and tricks in this video. And that is the Swiss Army Knife Zane build. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.